Hello, Ben here, still in Parma, uh, enjoying the show. And I'm on a, a kind of bit of a mission here to find basically the biggest biggest boat I can get on. A little bit of a competition with Jason, but hey, I'm winning. So, so how about this? I found this boat here, Alexa of London. Um, she's 123 foot long uh, with, as you can see on this little picture here, three head sails, massive mane, and built in 92 in Poland. Let's go and have a look. We go up the gangplank past the Maltese ensign, and here we go. Look at this, absolutely luxurious. The cockpit area there, very comfortable with the wheel at the back, but then is it enclosed cockpit area here so the captain can do his business in there. Actually there's no wheel so he'd have to come outside and drive but it's incredibly comfortable. Now one of the things I was told on the quick walk around I did before this video was that the keel is seven meters long but can be retracted and there's a mechanism under these under this grill here, which will pull the keel up to 3.3 meters. So when you're in shallow waters, in a narrow channel, you can only get away with 3.3 meter drops. But how about that? Probably entertaining space here. We'll go and have a look downstairs in a second. Um, there are four guest cabins here, um, and the crew quarters, which I can see the hatch there, but let's go right up to the bowsprit. See there where those head sails are organised. In fact, let's go, let's go, let's keep going. So that, that extra sort of whatever 15 foot there is obviously bowsprit, but that's rather nice, isn't it? You can imagine smashing along the oceans up here in consummate luxury. How about that? Baddie. This boat is for sale. 2.95 million euros. Bit of backgammon on the foredeck. Right, so if I if I go down these stairs here, this takes me to the crew mess. So and from there we can access the rest of the accommodation and the interior. So this is, um, well, it's neat and tidy and there's a bunk there. Quite a generous bunk. And the crew heads are in there. I'll show you the, I'll show you the, uh, the guest accommodation because really that's, that's what we're, that's what we want to see. So yeah, four cabins, here's one of them. A lovely twin. Steel hull, but this sort of nice ship like wood on the inside which is good and that's quite pretty isn't it this was 92 fitted out so possibly look at that that's nice isn't it very smart indeed turned out well for the day we wander down that's the that's the mast the big beginnings of and this is the master cabin. So here we go. Lovely double there. Tons of space. I mean, storage is not a problem in this boat. That, that's all storage there, wardrobe, etc., etc. But that's nice, isn't it? Spacious. And then the ensuite, which is just through this door. There we go. I thought there was going to be a bath in there. That's a pretty big shower for a pretty big boat. Right, let, let's make our way further back, as you are. <laughs> so I I've just passed the guest cabin. So here's another guest cabin, um, another twin. All of the guest cabins have en suites, and 
voila, so there's another little long sweep for this one. And I know that there's another guest cabin just around the corner here, which is a double, raw. Porthole, and of course, very well appointed on sweep with a full on walk in shower. Sort of hotel room stuff, isn't it? Very good. Right, so a little further back, we go through into the saloon and look at this saloon. Just look at that. How nice. Imagine chilling there. Little chit chat. There's the dining area, fridge, coffee maker, portholes grab rails and a really quite lovely high coach roof so there's so it just feels enormous down here absolutely enormous and why why wouldn't it it's 123 foot long here's the galley fully functional obviously now this boat is available as I said for sale or for charter so there's the captain's cabin there bit of LED fun going on in the camera but we'll leave the captain in, uh, in privacy there but and then coming up this is we saw this at the beginning but it, this is the business end of things with your charts and plotters and GPS and what have you and then back into the saloon area outside and there's a cockpit area sorry not the saloon there we are, that's Alexa of London. Not bad. Not bad at all. The tender is winched in and out of the water with the halyards. So I think it's in the water at the moment. And there's a little space for it up on the deck up there. I think where the backgammon table was. Um, but yeehaw. 123 foot of proper luxury thanks for watching click subscribe click like click all the things you need to click and keep watching these videos because we'll keep them coming if you keep watching thanks very much see you on the next one